hello everyone welcome to the yarn world today in this video i'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful peep bunnies or easter bunnies this is a very interesting and easy project and no amigurumi skills are ne needed to make these bunnies we just make a swatch and then we convert that swatch into the bunny you can use any type of yarn to crochet this bunny and uh, you will need some stuffing too and uh, it's a very simple and easy project uh, come on let's see how to crochet this beautiful peep bunnies meanwhile if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video So I'll be using Line Brands Pound of Love yarn and 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and I will be using scissor and tapestry needle for this project. And uh, for row one, I will need to work chain 25. Do a slip knot and work chain 25. So for row two, we are going to work one single crochet on the third chain from the hook. And then we are going to work a chain one and then we are going to skip one chain and work one single crochet on the next chain and then work a chain one then skip one chain work a single crochet on the next chain then chain one skip one chain work a single crochet on the next chain so we are going to do repeat this till the end we are going to work a chain one skip one chain and then single crochet on the next chain so on the last chain you will work one single crochet and then finish this row one So now I'm going to work one single crochet on my last stitch and then my row one is complete. Then I will work a chain two turn to proceed with row two. To work row two, I will be working one single crochet on the chain one space of the previous row and then work a chain one. And then I will find the next chain one space of the previous row and work one single crochet and work one chain one and then work one single crochet on the chain one space of the previous row so we are going to basically do this till the end we will work one single crochet on the chain one space of the previous row and then chain one so we are going to do this till the end and in the last stitch we always work one single crochet so this stitch that right here that we are working is called this moss stitch and gives a very good texture so it's better than the traditional single crochet because uh, when we work the amigurumi projects we work in round so the single crochet stitch will look good but when we are converting a swatch to a uh, doll so this type of stitches will look good so i'm working my last single crochet on the last stitch and then i work a chain two and turn and then we are basically going to repeat this until we reach row number 24 so so repeat row 2 that is we are going to chain 1 turn and then work one single crochet on the chain 1 space of the previous row and then work a chain 1 till the end and in the last stitch we work a single crochet to complete that row so repeat row 2 uh, until we reach row number 24 Here we are at the end of row number 24 and this is our swatch here and then I'm going to uh, fasten off and then I will work a slip stitch and end my swatch and let's see how we are going to convert this 
a bunny so i will be uh, uh, using the same color yarn and then working a needle in the center of my swatch like this basically i'm going to work like a triangle and then i will tighten my stitches to bring the swatch together like a head of a bunny so the we are going to work in this triangle form so those two end will form the ear of the bunny so see this is the other side of the triangle that i'm working here and what we are going to do is just like a string a bag draw string bag we are going to tug the both ends of the yarn together like this bringing them closer now you will need some stuffing to put in just don't stuff that much because um, your stitches is going to expand and uh, it will not look good just uh, uh, stuff only a little bit of uh, stuffing so that your stitches doesn't expand and then give a nice tight snug and then tighten your stitches this will form the head of the bunny Now for the body, I'm going to uh, sew in these two ends like this. and stuff it with polyfill or any stuffing of your choice as i told you earlier just don't stuff that much and then we are going to sew in the bottom end together and then if you need any other uh, um, stitches uh, that you need uh, to hold your bunny uh, form you can make them i will just uh, once i'm done with the bottom i'll just go uh, and use the same needle and yarn and then give a couple of tight stitches to the head as well so if you want you can uh, do that or if your uh, stitch is already uh, tight you can uh, totally avoid this I will be uh, making a couple of stitches because I feel my the neck is not that much uh, uh, tight so I'm just making a couple of more stitches around the neck and then uh, we will attach a pom pom for the bunny's tail.
and now i'm using some fine baby blanket yarn in pink and i will be rolling them around my fingers to make a pom pom and then i will uh, sew in the pom pom to the bunny which will make it look like the bunny's tail Now that the bunny's tail are sewed in, I'll fasten off my yarn and then gently uh, use uh, um, the I use the Susan bait uh, hook, the plain uh, blunt part of it, and then. Uh, insert the yarn inside the bunny itself next i am using some glass beads uh, and then sew them to the head to look make it look like the bunny's eyes i use two black color glass beads and then finally with the pink yarn i am uh, just making a couple of stitches to look like the bunny's uh, nose so if you are making a bigger swatch you can also use safety eyes and the safety nose that comes with it and then once you're done you can gently uh, insert your extra yarn inside the bunny itself here it is our cute little pea bunny is ready and no Ami Gurme skills are necessary to do this project and uh, it, we are just making a swatch and converting into a bunny isn't that interesting so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, if you don't know crochet you can also use a felt uh, cloth to make this bunny so you can use your own ideas to create this bunny i hope you enjoyed uh, making this bunny with me and uh, try this at home and let me know your comments below please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye